as a leader, are your meetings the bane of your life, a necessary evil, or the organization heartbeat that drives action and results? In many organizations, meetings are just a hindrance to productivity, a resource waster. How do you get effective meetings that create value for your organization and the customer, your team, and yourself? Hello, this is Pierre Bienvenu from IMPI. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools, and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant to this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So let's answer the question. How do you only attend effective meetings and ban wasteful ones from your life? In this video, I want to provide you with a simple framework to achieve just that. It's called the four P's as the four ingredients start with the P. In my opinion, this approach to effective meetings applies to all types of meetings, and in particular to standard meetings. I mean, those meetings that are beating the cadence of the organization. The various moving cogs in the business clock, the fast moving ones for the shift standard meetings, the daily planning, the cogs for the daily or weekly management meetings, the slow moving cogs for the monthly sales fix, the quarterly board meeting, the biannually management reviews, etc. The essence of those standard meetings is to review past commitments, communicate, align, make decisions, and commit to actions. At a social level, standard meetings build or damage relationships. They shape and broadcast the organizational culture since they showcase good or bad leadership behavior. For example, is it acceptable to be late? To skip a meeting? You will always make a point to close our tasks on time. Are the participants made accountable? Are decisions made? And they, or are they being imposed? Now, demands on people time need to be carefully weighed and this is a reason to standardize meetings, to make them effective, predictable, and thus eliminate the need for not another freaking meeting. Okay, these are the four Ps. Number one, purpose. The question is, why should we meet? There is an expected outcome to the meeting. Number two, players. The question is, who should be meeting? Only the right participants should be in the room. How do we select them? They have relevant expertise or information. They can make decisions. They are responsible to take action. They are directly concerned by the outcome of the meeting. So, this P stands for players, not passengers. When you look up on studies, the effectiveness of your meeting will decrease exponentially as the number of players increases beyond six or eight. Passengers will try to justify their attendance by voicing their opinion. It's a waste of their salary and a waste of time for the rest. Oh, also, don't forget that the caliber and discipline of the chairperson is critical to the efficiency of the meeting. Number three, preparation. The question is, when are we ready to meet? Players are expected to provide more answers than questions. A good preparation for the meeting will reduce meeting time, but surprise it and increase the effectiveness and the player's positive experience. This is respect in action. And finally, number four, plan. That's the agenda. The question is, what should be covered? Standard meetings are like sandwiches. There is a, a bread slice on both sides. Only the filling changes. So start with a positive welcome to engage the team. Then review the previous meeting tasks that are due. The filling comes next. The agenda is constant. 
but dependent on the purpose of the meeting. Key point here is that you want your meeting to be mostly forward looking. Then comes the other bread slice of the meeting sandwich, and that's the review of decisions and priority tasks agreed during the meeting. If you are continuous improvement driven, a reflection on how to improve the next meeting, and then the closure. That's it, the four Ps. In addition to them, I find it important that the teams have a code of conduct for the meetings. That sets up the expectation. If the chairperson can stick to it, the meeting in effectiveness increases. I've provided an example of code of conduct for a standard meeting in the description section below. You'll also find the link to four videos of a 15 minute webinar that we ran at the beginning of COVID. This is quite fun. There is a segment where we act a bad management meeting and another one on the same meeting, but run more effectively. So to wrap up, to have effective meetings, remember the four Ps. You must have a purpose, ban vaguely defined meetings. Have the players, ban the passengers, the oxygen thieves, and have a disciplined chairperson that can stuck to the four Ps and the code of conduct. Have a plan, no meeting agenda, no meeting, simple. We like order. Be prepared, ban mediocrity, and get the preparation work done before the meeting for accountability's sake. Then, if you have the four Ps right, standard meetings will pay off for your organization, your team, and yourself. Teams are informed, aligned, decisions are made, actions are completed, the business moves forward. You might even consider tolerating meetings now. And this is the good quote for this episode. Chris Fessel wrote, as a leader, you must consistently drive effective communication. Meetings must be deliberate and intentional. Your organizational rhythm should value purpose over habit and effectiveness over efficiency. Isn't this beautiful? If you are one of the first three people able to identify the location of this view, you can meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching. Just write the location in the comment section and send me an email at wwd at impi.solutions. Also, you may have a need to improve on your leadership skills turn them into good habits, or you need support to transform your organization. I can help you. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode in two weeks. In the meantime, lead well effective meetings.